so next phase of this trip, we gotta go get ready for camping. Yeah, we do. We're camping and hey, we brought stuff, but we haven't even looked at it, so. Well, you, you know, periodically you're supposed to audit <coughs> your 72 hour <coughs> kit. When was the last time we audited it? Oh, not long ago. And how was it? Good. Was it fully ready? <laughs> Pretty much. Well, we decided we better bring our 72-hour kit because who knows, they may have a hurricane. It, it Not, has... And that was totally before Michael was planned. Yes. <clears throat> it it <laughs> planned. It has all of the basic items in there. What we're lacking is like food and water and no, that's not things. completely true. I have a lot of food in there. There is a lot of food, but a not lot. not all of what we need. I want fresh food to yes. cook at the campground. Yeah, that that's the importance. <clears throat> yes. That's the importance yeah. of auditing it. Well, we have the dehydrated meals and we have canned goods, but I want fresh vegetables and fresh fruit and fresh milk. For camping. And fresh eggs. It has eggs. nothing to do with 72 hour camp. Correct. Kids. Okay. So we're off to do a little bit of shopping. Tomorrow's the big day going to the Han Hewn workshop for pig butchering at the Homesteaders of America conference. Excited about this. This is going to be some great stuff. Going to be able to take the camera and film. I can't share it necessarily, it's for my own personal use, but it's going to give me the ability to go back and review what was done. I'm going to be doing a lot of hands-on, not running the camera, so I'll be able to look at how, what I was told and, and what I did and make improvements in the future, but really excited to learn about how to do from these guys. I mean, they've done a lot. They've got a lot of experience. They're great about explaining it. I like their approach. It's the right kind of approach. Respect for the animal, respect for what's going on, and also handling it in a way that is like stress gone, and uh, then also taking care of the meat properly. So I'm very excited about this. Uh, been reviewing videos about it. Uh, so I understand a little bit better. I'm, I'm not going to be just totally confused as they start doing things and showing things. Um, I'm ready to go. I've got my apron, have the camera with uh, a, a, an extra uh, memory card. We have batteries that are going to be, we had to order them. We're going to have extra batteries, so I'll have multiple batteries to use. So, and I've got, we, we left our tripod at home. Can you believe that? So I'm going to have a tripod with me so that I can uh, definitely have it set up so they can watch me right. So I'm ready. I'm going to be able to document it. I'm going to be able to learn it. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be a lot of fun. We got a package. We got a package. It feels like our charger. Oh, wow. What business. <laughs> what kind of charger did you get? Jam. That's if we needed to plug it in. <laughs> okay, so let's just make sure it's the right batteries. Okay. So what have I been doing on vacation? I've been doing some family research because we went to the um, um, Antietam. I started looking at my family that may have been in the Civil War and I've been doing research on my family that lives in Missouri and I found my great-great-grandpa joined the, the Civil War when he was 18 years old and he was in it for three years, three years. And he, um, it, I went to find out where he was at in the 23rd Regiment and you can find all the different battles he was in. I think that's pretty amazing to go through three years of war and disease and awfulness and come out okay. Anyway, I found his name and so that's one thing I've been doing. Just having fun, researching. Hmm. I think you need to make it work somehow. How's that work? But um, Universal worldwide use from 110 to 220. Yeah, but you don't have the you have this instead of the one that would put it. It showed the that we were getting this one. Oh. So. I don't know. He's been working. Haven't you? I have been. Because he's 
not going to have to work tomorrow and the next day. So, and then the other thing that I've been doing is, um, what have I been doing? I got a new calendar. This is not exciting stuff, which is really exciting that it's not exciting stuff because it's mundane, <laughs> which means that I haven't been busy and crazy and we, stressed. We, we need some calm in our yeah. life. <laughs> it's been really awesome to be calm. I, I um, have been following a lot of people on Facebook and on Instagram, on, on YouTube who are getting ready to come to the America's America, blah, 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 the what? There it is, Jim, you found it. <laughs> He's so silly. <laughs> he couldn't find that part. I knew it had to be there somewhere. <laughs> Just had to keep looking. Anyway, um, the um, Homesteaders of America Conference, the, everyone who's going there. And um, so that's been really fun. And it's been kind of fun just to sit and do, just let's run to the store and do this, or let's go for a walk. We even walked four and a half miles the first day we were here. Yeah. Because you're in a class all day tomorrow. Well, yeah, in the evening we could do So it. he had to take, he, he's going to be eating some of the meat, but they're all supposed to take like a side dish. So we just took a huge pile of grapes and sliced cheese to go with his. That's yeah, what he's taking. Be good. That's what he's doing. Tonight I'm making dinner for my brother. I'm having cooked um, grilled chicken and sausage and cabbage and onions all sauteed together. That's what I'm doing. So. I think that's, that's going to be good. Anyway, you want to say anything else to the nice um, people? Sit up and speak into the camera. Speak into the camera. Well, I'm excited we have this. It's, it's always been a worry when we go somewhere, we have one battery that we're going to run out the battery. And now we have three batteries. So we have, yeah, three, three batteries. We can have them all charged. And, um, and we ordered this yesterday morning, so this is really cool. Well, we actually shopped at several local places and, you know, why, the why the stores are closing, right? Yeah, I mean, well, I understand. They can't hope to stock everything that somebody wants to buy. They can't afford to do that and they can't beat the prices. So you go online, you can get anything and we got it next day. I mean, it's in plenty of time. Because we don't live in the little town in Missouri here, because yeah. we live in a big city here, we got it the next day. <laughs> right? So yeah, yeah, it's, it's the way of the future. I'm sorry, it's the way of the future. It and is. it makes sense because I can think back uh, way before internet and there were things you couldn't buy. If, if your little town or wherever you live didn't have it, you didn't have it and you just do without. And I, you know, I guess that's acceptable, but if you're trying to do something, to have to wait or to substitute or to not do it at all because you can't get the things you need, that's really not acceptable. I mean, you know, when I was a kid, that was life. But it's not life now. Well, we would get the Sears and Robot calendar ca catalog, catalog and get to get or uh, Monkey Wars or, or, or Montgomery Wars and get to order all of our school clothes out of yeah, those. Yeah, used because, to be a big yeah. deal. It's a different life. It was a different world. But I wouldn't want to go back there. I like when I want to do something, I can find the right things, the right materials to do it and with, have it and I can get it days. And, and get it within a few days. Worst case. So I just like at a good price. Okay, yes. Yeah, way good price on that. So, um, I would like to say something about Washington, D.C. area. Then say it. It is just as humid as it was in Missouri. It's not as hot, though. It is not as hot. Um, but it's not hot in Missouri right now, yeah, either. It's, it's, in fact, it's going down into the 40s everywhere. So you think summer's over? Well, it's interesting because my sister-in-law put in... Missouri and Pittsburgh and here and about five other places where her family lives. Every single one of them said 80 degrees at wow. three days ago. You know, it was so wow. funny. It was like, whoa, this is what you call a neutral temperature. Yeah, kind of between. <laughs> and now we know that it's going to be 40 in the low 40s um, right where we're going. And it's in the low 40s where we're come, come okay. from too. So we'll, so we'll be right at home when we I'm, go home. I'm happy to take it. I'm happy yeah, to no take kidding. it. No kidding. No kidding. 
Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and say goodbye. Just wanted to get something on. Excited to leave first thing in the morning about 6.30, we're leaving here. And gonna go make this and, start. You know, we really don't know what's gonna come about as a result of this conference. There's a lot of great things we're gonna see and a lot of people we're gonna meet. So between what we're gonna learn, what we're gonna experience, what we're gonna see there, and the people that we're gonna meet, there are a lot of homesteaders gonna be there. Uh, we're actually gonna have a meetup. Yes, we are. Friday night. I just wanted to say, the reason I talk about humidity, so I don't even try to fix my hair anymore. <laughs> Here, I did. It looked pretty cool yesterday. It was just all curly. Yeah. Today, I just, whatever. Just gave up. Just gave up. <laughs> I'll work Sometimes on it. That's so what I'm gonna you be in a campground. I'm not gonna have a curling iron, you know. <laughs> Maybe. So anyway, arms doing well. Just that itchy stage. Ugh. Still doing really, really well. And I'm gonna do a plug. I know that um, Holler Homestead is not settled. They haven't got their place. They don't know where they're going yet. Oh, they may, but they haven't got it yet. So she makes soaps and deodorant and. Um, this healing balm. She's stuff. not selling right now. Though. She is well, not actively traveling. selling. And when she starts actively selling again, I am she's buying this balm and her soap. This balm is what I have used on this, and I use it and keeps it soft. It does better than any of the other stuff really? does. I love it. She doesn't know that yet. So if you're listening to this, Megan, you got a customer, and you got to show me how to make it. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys that are coming tomorrow or the next day.